Hey everyone, it's Sam Mackay from Enterprise DNA here. Today I just want to just a brief tutorial around how you can highlight key performance trends. And what I want to uh, want you to look at here is this top row or this top level in this in this particular reporting dashboard. Now this was part of the a recent Enterprise DNA Learning Summit in uh, in 2018. And this was very, you know, there were six full workshops, right, in this uh, in enterprise, in the learning summit. But uh, this is just going to be a small breakout in terms of how you can incorporate this technique inside of uh, your reports inside of Power BI. Because I love it. I think it is such a good way to showcase performance trends over time. Uh, of some really key business metrics or, or performance metrics that you might have in your business. And it incorporates really two things. It incorporates uh, a, a, a specific DAX calculation that shows trends really well, but then also a visualization technique. It's a very, and it's very simple. It's not difficult at all. Um, but by combining these two things, I think that it actually showcases uh, these trends and enables consumers to see high level information really effectively. Okay. Because sometimes if you just have numbers, and this is this is what, what it sort of comes down to, if you're just showcasing numbers, it doesn't actually show the full picture. Seeing one number in isolation based on a time that you've selected in the report, which you can do in this dashboard here, so say, say I can actually change the time frame like this, um, seeing just numbers is maybe, say, just say cards of numbers is not enough. You actually want to see, well, what is happening to the actual trend? Okay, what is happening to the underlying trend and behind this particular number? Okay, and so that's what I want to show you. I want to show you how 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 I did it in this particular model. Now, the key to showcasing trends well, in my view, is utilizing moving averages. Now, if you just showed results at an uh, at a daily level, in, you know every single granular result, every single result, you're going to have charts which are just so incredibly busy, right? They're so incredibly busy they'll just be li you know, squiggly lines that are, are basically not showcasing a trend effectively, right? But what I did was I created moving averages for all of these particular key performance metrics, sales, margins, average order size, profits, and costs. I created the same moving average for each individual one of those results so that I could see the trend over time versus just what the result was in every single day. Okay, so what I, uh, and you'll see here, so you see on the right hand side, I created a, a measure group and I called it moving averages. And you'll see here that all of these results, all of these particular measures correspond to the actual chart, which is sitting um, within this top level of this particular dashboard. And so if I, if I click on this one, you'll see that this is actually the sales moving average. And so let's have a look at the formula that I've utilized here. And this is, and this is why this technique is actually very, um, you know, you can replicate this quite effectively in your own reports is because you'll see that these calculations or these, um, these measures, the, the, the formula technique that I've used is exactly the same in each one of these measures. And so it doesn't actually take that long to create a cool visualization like this. And so what I've done here is I'm basically looking at sales, but I, what I want to do is I want to do it for a one month moving average. And what this does, so what this part of the, the average X formula does, is it opens up a one month time window back from today or back from any day and then averages out all of the sales made in that one month time window. Okay, so that's essentially what it's doing and that's what a moving average which is logically is, right? But then have a look at say margins here. So we'll go and we'll go and sort of click on the margins visualize, uh, visualization there, and you'll see that this is exactly the same, right? The same technique or same pattern. But all I've done is I've input say a profit margin, a new measure of, uh, from um, a prior calculation. And this also incorporates this technique called measure branching, which I go on and on and on about. Um, but this is really just branching out. This is a moving average branch of our core measures. Okay. And then what I've done to really highlight and um, to, to really you know, finish off this visualization is sometimes the line is also not enough, right? So if you're just showing the um, the chart and you weren't actually showing the number, well, sometimes that doesn't doesn't add enough value. And so what I've done is I've also incorporated a card where I've included 
So you see here that I've got my key measures, you can call these core measures. This is really your first layer of measures. Your first, your, your, this is really the trunk of the of the tree. This is the, the, where, the, where the, the core calculations, the simple calculations are going to be done. And you'll see here that this is a pretty generic sales calculation, right? This is just my total sales. But what I've done is I've put it inside a card and I've layered it on top of that visualization. And I've done the same for margins, I've done the same for average order size, profits and costs, etc. And so hopefully you can see that now that it just adds a lot more colour to key performance trends, right? And what I've done just to make it all work sort of seamlessly or look seamless is what I have placed the, um, the chart, what I've done is I've come up into format here and I've gone send backwards, I've gone send to back, send, uh, send to back, so that it doesn't actually sit in front of the card. So for example, if I actually bring this, um, I'm gonna bring it forward, bring to front, you'll see that that actually sits over the number, and what you want to do is you actually want it to sit in behind the number. So what I've done is I go send backwards until it actually goes behind. It hasn't gone back yet. No, we don't want it to go totally to the back because I've got a few things in there bring to the front so it takes a little bit of filling around because I've got quite a few visual elements inside of here and you see that that, that actually put it in behind now that it just it just takes a bit of fiddling around there to get it um, so that it sits underneath the uh, in, underneath the card visual okay so I think this this is this is a truly um, you know great visualization technique in my view especially around these key performance business trends because as i say each one of these uh, in isolation doesn't mean as much as the combined showing the trend and also showing the result and showing the number and this is just a cool way that you can visualize it and you know still enable you know still have all of the natural filtering etc that might be going on inside your data you know a consumer can come in and look at this and they'll be and they can very quickly see okay well this particular six million well it actually you know there's a huge spike um, sort of in the middle of of, um, of this time frame that we've selected here and then it has dropped off and now we're, we're trending up again you know that's that's some, some pretty interesting insight that you can you, you can uh, you know you can understand pretty quickly from looking at this okay I'm gonna round things off there uh, thanks again for listening and hopefully you enjoyed this one if you did um, certainly throw the video a like always appreciate it and really helps in uh, getting getting that feedback and, and for creating new content. So um, also, if you haven't subscribed to Enterprise DNA, DNA TV, certainly do. Plenty of really good content coming out on Power BI um, uh, very, very soon um, and over, over, over the medium term. So looking forward to getting that out to you as soon as I can. Okay, all the very best. Uh, talk to you soon.